We as this Department of Water and Sanitation, we have our own responsibilities, what is expected of us, what can be done by this department, what is supposed to be the responsibility of municipality. The Constitution, the National Water Act, as well as the Water Service Act, clearly defines the roles and responsibilities of the management of water resources and for providing water services in our country. The Department of Water and Sanitation is responsible for the following. Water resource management and taking regularity action to protect our water resource. Setting national minimum norms and standards for water service provided by municipalities. Providing support to municipalities and intervening where the norms and standards are not being met. I wish to, to, to also state on this point that this is a very important point that we do intervene when norms and standards are not being met. We don't overtake and interfere with the roles of municipalities because municipalities have a constitutional provision that of providing water to the citizens, which is uh, enshrined on, uh, on section 27 of the constitution. We are quite aware that this morning, a community of Ellendale is protesting because there was a maintenance that was conducted a week ago by rainwater. But to, now, to date, the reservoir are not filled up to capacity. And that reservoir is shared between Eguruleni municipality as well as Johannesburg. We are therefore hoping that uh, both municipalities are trying to find an amicable solution to respond to communities who are currently protesting because they don't have water. The provision of local water and sanitation services is the constitutional and legal responsibility of municipalities. Every time when there is no water, the first point of call is the Department of Water by general public, of which is not supposed to be like that. The first point of call should be the municipality, should be the councillor, the mayor, and the local municipalities are supposed to conduct their district municipalities where the district municipalities are water authority. The first month in office, we are only 31 days in office. Since being sworn in, on the 3rd of July, we have been unindebted with calls and messages from the public and local political leadership, national leadership regarding challenges with water and sanitation services at a local level. These challenges have included a lack of access to water, sewage spillages, sewage pollution and disruptions in water supply for various reasons. What has struck us about many of these calls is that callers do not seem to appreciate that the provision of water services is the responsibility of municipalities, not the National Department of Water and Sanitation. It will be the priority for us to correct this misunderstanding and to encourage communities and leaders to hold their municipalities accountable for the delivery of water and sanitation services. We will undertake community outreach to reach out to our people and explain the different roles that we play in terms of water services. Notwithstanding that this is a responsibility of municipalities, we have a call center to receive complaints and uh, queries about aspects of water and sanitation in the country. And our call center number is 0800-200-200. Yesterday, I tested that call center and that call center, it guides a caller on what to do. It operates from Monday to Friday. During weekends, it tells you that if you have an emergency, which uh, 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 number are you supposed to, to, call, to press or to call? When we receive calls related to these responsibilities, we immediately channel such uh, complaints to relevant municipalities. We have received more than 400 uh, queries just for one month that we've been in office and most of them have been uh, attended to by mu different municipalities. 
The first point of call, as I've said, for residents is to raise issues regarding municipal water and sanitation service must be with their municipalities. However, we do assist when we hear that uh, there are challenges. To assist municipalities to implement this, this responsibility, the national government provides municipalities with grants and address backlogs in access. Most of these were inherited from the apartheid regime. These grants include the Municipal Infrastructure Grant, which is allocated to municipalities by COCTA, the Human Settlement Development Grant, which is allocated to Metropolitan Municipality by Department of Human Settlement, and the Regional Bulk Infrastructure, which is called the RIPIC, which is uh, provided by water, uh, uh, by us as a, a Department of Water and Sanitation, as well as the infra, as well as the Water Service Infrastructure Grant, WISIC, which are all allocated to metropolitan as well as municipalities. And therefore, there is a clear plan and intervention on how we assist municipalities above what they get from COCTA and from human settlement. In this term, it will be a priority for us to continue to work with the municipalities to ensure that they prioritize projects to increase access of, by using the, 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 the regional bulk infrastructure as well as the water service infrastructure grant that is given to municipalities. Along with COCTA, National Treasury and Department of Human Settlement will continue to support municipalities to improve their water and sanitation services in several ways. One of the immediate priorities will be to visit all provinces to meet with the water service authorities to review the progress with existing improvement plans which are supported by the department and to assist municipalities to develop additional improvement plans where necessary, as well as using uh, REPIC and WISIC grants to assist municipalities to address backlogs in access. Department will also continue to ensure that uh, we allocate these grants to municipality and assist them to improve reliability of capacity of their existing infrastructure.